F-16 Fighting Falcon, one of the most versatile and iconic multi-role fighter jets, has long been a backbone of air forces around the world. Developed by General Dynamics, now Lockheed Martin in the 1970s, this single-engine supersonic aircraft has evolved through various upgrades to maintain its edge in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat roles. Among its critical missions is testing new bombs, ensuring these munitions function effectively in real-world operations. Testing bombs in an F-16 showcases the aircraft's adaptability and precision in delivering payloads, playing a vital role in modern warfare and defense strategies. Bomb testing with aircraft like the F-16 is crucial for several reasons. Weapon development and validation every new bomb or missile must undergo extensive testing to ensure it functions as intended in operational environments. The F-16, with its ability to carry various munitions types, serves as an ideal platform for testing. Training for pilots bomb tests allow pilots to practice delivering different types of ordnance under varying conditions. Pilots need to know how a specific bomb behaves, its release timing, accuracy, and its effect on the target to prepare for real combat scenarios. System integration new bombs or guidance systems must be integrated seamlessly with the aircraft's onboard systems. Tests ensure that the aircraft's radar, targeting pods, and fire control systems work harmoniously with the new munitions. The process of testing bombs on an F-16 involves meticulous planning, preparation, and execution. Engineers and test pilots work together to analyze performance and gather data. Here's a breakdown of what such tests typically involve. Number 1. Weapon Compatibility and Loadout Before any test flight, the F-16 undergoes detailed compatibility checks to ensure the new bomb can be safely attached and released from the aircraft. The fighter is capable of carrying a variety of bombs, from unguided munitions like MK-82 and MK-84 to precision-guided bombs like the GBU-12 Paveway-2 and JDAM Joint Direct Attack Munition. Test flights often start with a single weapon or a small loadout to monitor how the aircraft handles. Engineers analyze factors like weight distribution, drag, and any potential effect on the F-16's aerodynamics. For larger or more complex bombs, additional support systems or targeting pods may also need to be attached and tested. Number 2. Simulated and real test conditions the F-16 is put through various simulated and real combat conditions during bomb tests. Pilots may fly at different altitudes and speeds, executing bombing runs from high-altitude precision strikes to low-altitude, high-speed delivery for ground targets. These tests provide invaluable data on the bomb's performance, including release accuracy, bomb trajectory, detonation reliability, effects on the target. For guided bombs, the focus is on the accuracy of the bomb's navigation and guidance systems. The F-16's advanced radar and targeting systems are tested to ensure they can accurately lock onto targets and guide the bomb to impact. Number 3. Data Collection and Analysis Throughout these test flights, sophisticated onboard sensors and cameras collect detailed data on the bomb's behavior after release. This information is critical for improving bomb designs and ensuring the F-16's weapon systems operate flawlessly. Post-flight analysis also helps engineers understand any anomalies or adjustments needed to enhance the bomb's accuracy and lethality. The F-16 can carry a wide range of bombs, making it a versatile platform for bomb testing. Some of the commonly tested bombs include MK-82 and MK-84 bombs. These are general-purpose unguided bombs that rely on the pilot's skill for accuracy. They are often used to test the aircraft's capacity to release and accurately drop dumb bombs in combat scenarios. GBU-12 Paveway 2 
A laser-guided bomb LGB that requires a targeting pod to guide the bomb to its target using a laser beam. Testing the GBU-12 ensures the aircraft can paint the target correctly and release the bomb with precision. JDAM GBU-31, GBU-38, JDAMs are GPS-guided bombs that provide all-weather precision targeting. These tests focus on the bomb's ability to navigate using satellite data and strike within meters of a target. Small Diameter Bomb SDB the GBU-39 SDB is a smart bomb designed for, for high-precision strikes on small targets. Testing the SDB requires assessing its accuracy, bomb effects, and integration with the F-16's advanced targeting systems. Blue 109 Penetrator Bomb This is a bunker-busting bomb designed to penetrate hardened targets. Testing involves ensuring the bomb can hit buried targets with precision and deliver enough explosive force to destroy them. Importance of Bomb Testing in Modern Warfare In today's battlefield, precision is paramount. Bomb testing with aircraft like the F-16 ensures that munitions work effectively when needed, minimizing collateral damage and increasing the likelihood of mission success. As adversaries evolve their tactics and technology, the ability to strike with pinpoint accuracy gives air forces a significant advantage. Moreover, testing enables the continuous improvement of bombs, adapting them to new threats and mission profiles. Whether it's upgrading guidance systems or integrating new technologies like network warfare capabilities, bomb testing on platforms like the F-16 ensures air forces stay ahead of emerging threats. F-16 bomb testing is a critical part of modern air combat readiness. The aircraft's versatility, combined with its ability to integrate various weapon systems, makes it an ideal platform for ensuring that bombs are accurate, reliable, and capable of meeting the demands of contemporary warfare. Whether delivering unguided bombs in close air support missions or testing the latest precision-guided munitions, the F-16 remains at the forefront of bomb testing and combat operations. Its continued role in this arena highlights the importance of technological advancement, and adaptability in maintaining air superiority in modern military conflicts.